Welcome to this special edition of the Women's Football Show here on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. We're here today at the Scottish Power Headquarters in Glasgow as the SWPL season gets started. Alison and I spoke to a few players to hear their thoughts of the upcoming season. Alison, we're about to get started in the new season. A photo finish to last season, just like we wanted. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's been a really thrilling finale to the last couple of seasons in the women's campaign. I think uh, it's fabulous. I think it keeps a focal point. It keeps an energy and excitement around the women's game. I think you'll see very similar again this season. I think uh, in terms of the top three, I think there's very little between all three of them. I think all have invested in their teams. There have been changes across the board. I think... Um, yeah, I think Celtic Rangers, Glasgow City will all be pushing one another for, for that title. How do you see those three in particular making that next step up? Yeah, I, I think they've obviously invested in the squad. There have been changes, um, but they've all looked to try and, and strengthen over the summer. I think we saw last season, you know, the title was determined by one goal, a solitary goal. So I think um, it's really key for teams to start well. I think it can be important to get goals in early doors too. I think from January, February, you see the league get particularly competitive. There's not much room for error. And as soon as that split takes place, it's a hugely competitive environment for, for any team. And I think there's, there's very little margin for error for any of the top three who want to go on and get their hands on the title. And Celtic, of course, have that Champions League route starting in September. Just how key is it that they make an impact on that this season? I think they'll be desperate to make an impact to get to round two, which would then potentially open the door to going into the proper group stages of the tournament, something that they've never done before. Rangers have a really daunting task. They face Arsenal in their quest to get through. I think Celtic, realistically, you could expect to try and get into that second group it'll be important I think they've got four or five league games first it'll be important for them to try and get up to speed and get running before then because it's quite an arduous process to try and qualify properly for the tournament and of course Celtic's Natalie Ross says playing in that Champions League is what dreams are made of it's exciting as a little kid you always want to that's a dream playing the Champions League um, yeah travelling to Lithuania won't be easy the games are going to be hard it's like two cup finals we need to win before we can get to round two and that's our focus we never managed that last season so to get to round two is a progression for us so yeah that's our focus Champions League we've got some league games before that that we need to focus on first but yeah Champions League's in the back of your mind you're excited can't wait um, I'm obviously coming to the end of my career so I just want to make the most of every opportunity I get and just on to Rangers then they of course trying to reclaim that title what will the expectation from the manager be this time around yeah I think they'll, it's clear I think uh, they missed out on a domestic treble by one goal I think uh, there was a feeling within the club and within the squad I think that they were the better team across the course of the campaign I think they'll be going out to prove that this season I think they'll they were desperately unlucky when you look at that performance against Hearts ultimately cost them the league just to, towards the end of the season. Um, it's a game, I think, in other circumstances, they would have banked the points. They've taken the points when you look at how many chances they created. I think it just illustrates how little margin there is for error. But they'll fancy themselves as going and being able to recover the title. They've also added, they've strengthened. I think Joe Potter had a fabulous first campaign. I thought she came across very well. I think uh, Rangers were very consistent across the course of the campaign. And I think you'll see similar again this term. And the pressure to do well for Rangers, of course, as Jane Ross highlighted, there's always pressure playing for a team like Rangers. Um, I think the expectation on us as players, to be honest, I think we all um, have a demand and desire to be at the top. Um, I think also when you play for a club like Rangers Football Club, there is an expectation there to go and compete and win trophies. So, yeah, I think we all know that signing for this club, that that is what um, the fans want and what us as players want. And yeah, hopefully this season we can achieve that. And Glasgow City, Alison, of course, they had a disappointing season last time around. Lisa Evans coming back into the fold. Just how much of a difference will a player like her make this time? I think she could be huge. I mean, she's only 32. She's a player who's vastly experienced, played in the top leagues, a, a seasoned international player. I think she's exactly the type of player that Glasgow City wants. She knows the club. She knows the environment. She knows the demands. She's been uh, around the club when, when this was. Glasgow City really set the tone for the landscape in Scottish women's football. She knows it's a club that's ingrained and built on success. I think there'll be a real hunger 
there to go and, and quietly go about their business and challenge Celtic and Rangers. I think there's been a bit of a perception now, perhaps from the outside, that this is this the women's league is maybe going to replicate the men's league and that you see Celtic and Rangers dominate. I think Glasgow City will have something to say about that. They've also brought Scott Booth back to his Leanne Rossi's assistant. Uh, a lot of investment on and off the pitch this season. I think they'll be there or thereabouts. What is your take on that dynamic? Him coming back in, obviously managing Leanne Ross as well, but now the cards have changed almost. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? And I think two very strong personalities, two quite opinionated personalities, but I think the lines will be fairly clear. I think Leanne Ross is in charge. I think Leanne is the manager. I think Scott Booth is an interesting one. He, again, like Lisa, knows the club, knows the demands on the club, knows the expectations and mentality around the club. And I think that can be key when it comes to complimenting Leanne and what she's doing. Well, Lisa Evans, of course, wants to take that success back to Glasgow City this season. I've always been a front runner um, in women's football, the forefront, um, setting records for everything pretty much. So, yeah, just really looking forward to hopefully bringing back success again and getting a few titles under the belt. Well, Alison, we've got another exciting season ahead of us. Here's hoping it's going to be just like the end of last season. We'll be keeping you up to date across all of PLZ Soccer's social media platforms.